Let's make this cool simple intro effect. First, go to Effects Library, under Effects, drag the Fusion Composition to the new timeline. Adjust the length of the clip to whatever you want. Go to Fusion page, add a Renderer 3D node, a Merge 3D node, a Camera 3D node, and then add a Ribbon 3D node by pressing Shift and Space and Search Ribbon. Connect them all together like this. Select the Renderer 3D node, in the Inspector, change the Renderer type to OpenGL Renderer. Drag the Merge 3D node to the left viewer. Pull the blue arrow of the camera until you see the ribbon lines in the media out viewer. Select the ribbon 3D node in the inspector. Increase the number of lines to over 100, line thickness to 10, and also increase the ribbon width a little bit. We also want to shorten the length of the ribbon by adjust the X value to close to zero for both the start and end. Further adjust the camera until you see the whole ribbon. Now, select the ribbon 3D node, press shift space, search displace, and add a displace 3D node. Add a text node and connect it to the Displace 3D node. Select the text node and type in your title. Always ignore anything strange happening in your viewer because we will sort it out eventually. Go to the Displace 3D node and change the channel to RGB and then reduce the scale to very small like 0.005. Go to the Ribbon 3D node, increase the subdivisions to something like 300. Now, you should see the title properly. You can now select the text node and change the font and size until you satisfied. After that press shift space and search blur to add a blur node after the text. Increase the blur size a little bit. This would make the displacement of the text smoother. Next, select the text node, right click on the text box and select text scramble. Go to the modifiers page, adjust the substitute characters as you like. Go to the frame about 60% of your clip. Change the randomness to 1 and click the dot. Go to a certain frames after and then change the randomness to 0. The text will keep scrambling until the point randomness turns 0 and reveal the title. Let's change the color of the ribbon. Add a background node and connect it to the green triangle of the ribbon 3D node. In the inspector, change the color to what you like. If you want separate color for the text, add another background node by holding shift and drag the new one between the old one and the ribbon node. Make sure the new one is connected to the green triangle of the merge node. Change the color to what you want and then drag the blur node after the text to the blue triangle of the new background node. The title effect is basically finished. You may want to add a background behind the title. What I did was adding something like scrolling numbers. To do it, first, I copy the ribbon 3D node and connect it to the merge 3D node. Then, I reduce the number of lines and line thickness and increase the ribbon width. Also, lengthen the ribbon by increasing the X number for both the start and end. Pull the base color background node to the green triangle of the new ribbon to make it the same color as the old one. Add an image plane 3D node and connect it to the new ribbon. In the media pool, drag your background footage or whatever media to the nodes panel. What I used was an image with numbers on it. Connect it to the image plane. You can then modify your media by adding relevant nodes. I used a color space node to change the color of the image to black and white. And a blur node to blur the image a little bit to make it less stands out. I want to make a scroll effect, so I lengthen the image by duplicating it. I added a duplicate 3D node after the image plane and drag it to the left viewer. Then, I pull the red arrow to adjust the X offset until the two images seamlessly connected together. After that, I add a transform 3D node to adjust the size and make the scroll animation. It was added after the duplicate 3D node. I reduced the Z value for translation to drag the image back a little bit. Then, I scale up the image by Y axis to ensure it covers the whole scene. To add the scroll effect, first go to the beginning frame of the clip. Click the dot for X for translation to keyframe it. In the left viewer, pull the red arrow to drag the image to the right. And then, go to the last frame, pull the red arrow to drag the image to the left. The image will scroll from right to left throughout the clip. To show the title in different angles, I've added multi-camera movements with three cameras. It's simple and if you want to learn how to do it, see my next tutorial about it. Don't forget to subscribe this channel and click the bell to get the notice for my next video. Add some background music, and now, you've made a cool intro effect. If you like this effect and my tutorial, please drop a like and feel free to comment. See you in the next one.